In this video, I'm going to take a look at how we can use the Lens Corrections panel in order to deal with colour fringing, or as it's more technically called, chromatic aberration. So what exactly is chromatic aberration? Well, it's an optical problem that happens when the lens is unable to bring together all wavelengths of colour to the same focal plane. It often happens when you're shooting with a shallow depth of field, or if you have a wider angle lens, and especially at high contrast edges. Now let's have a look at an image. We'll say zoom right in. Let's say we'll go into three to one. And we'll just pan around till we find this edge. And we can see we've got quite a horrendous purple fringe going on around here. And it goes on for all along that edge, right down to the bottom. So let's open the lens corrections panel. And we have a look here, we want to be in the colour tab. So if it opens up in the basic, we want to click on the colour tab. Then I'll just scroll up a bit so you can see. And we've got two options here. We've got a little tick box for remove chromatic aberration. And if I put a tick in that, then you will see it makes a pretty good job of really minimising all that purple fringing. Now if it's too much for that to do, there's another way, so I'll just take that out to put the fringe back. And that involves using this little eyedropper and these sliders. Now these sliders are in pairs, so there's an amount slider and, and a purple hue slider. So this is the purple colour that we're trying to take out. Or there's a, an amount slider for the green hues. And the slider underneath is, is the colour range that we're trying to hit. So the way we use this tool is to go and pick it up. It's a bit like the white balance tool. We undock it by clicking on it. And then we move over and we try and get right in the middle of the fringe. And we click. And you can see that we've put another fringe on now. And what this is doing, it's, it, it's basically trying to recolor the fringe. So now by looking at the amount slider, I'll just make this worse. If I put this amount slider right out, you'll see what's happening there. It's really stretching this color into the blue, into the sky and trying to cover up that fringe. So all you've got to do is, is basically play around with the sliders, bring that back and then play around with the range a little bit until it's gone. And when we're finished, we'll come back and we'll redock the tool. And we'll hit it twice by clicking the Remove Chromatic Aberration tick box as well. Well, there we have it. How to remove chromatic aberration, or at least minimise it, using the Lens Corrections panel. 